Hey YouTube, this knife you see before you is the Boker Microcom. All right, it is a Chad Los Banos design. Uh, the price tag is around $20. Uh, it is 440C steel. And you see it has the G10 handle scales with the circular cutouts. All right, and this is meant as a, a little mini fixed blade neck knife. All right, let's take a little closer look at the blade. All right, here it is, the microcom. You see the texturing a lanyard hole and texturing on the handle scales. Full tang, obviously. Some jimping on the spine there. And uh, you see the bead blast. And it is, it is a chisel ground, meaning, you see it's flat there. All right, or a zero, zero angle grind there. And then the, the flat grind and edge bevel there. And it's just a handy, you know, it's a tiny little handy little knife. All right, and it does have, for a small knife, it does fit really nice. It has really, really good ergonomics, kind of a, a Warncliffe style blade shape. And now this is very small. Let me, let me show you. All right, that is the Boker Microcom below my Spyderco Dragonfly. And a lot of people have the Dragonfly, so you know how small the Dragonfly is. I mean... The Microcom is not much bigger than the closed Dragonfly. Alright, there you see the Microcom underneath the opened Spyderco Dragonfly. The sharpened, the, the length of the edge on the Microcom is one and a half inches. Right? And the total blade length, if you count that choil, is about two inches. Alright, so Micro, you know, they, they mean Micro. Very handy, very good when you can't carry anything bigger. All right, YouTube, only one problem with this Microcom. It was sent to me with no sheath. All right, I don't know what happened, but it's supposed to come with a, a little Kydex sheath, and I didn't get a sheath, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little sheath right here. All right, YouTube, this is how I make a ghetto sheath. What is this? This is my little ghetto uh, sheath-making kit. All right, you got... Your scissors, stapler, got some athletic tape there. This is some stretchy tape, elastic tape, and what else is in here? You know, everyone should have one of these little, uh, little uh, improvised sheath kits. We have some blade guards here, and let's see little money clip this is to make a belt clip all right and various carabiners and rings these are to make basically if you want to make a neck knife type thing you can uh, string the uh, necklace part through this you'll see and even you know if you want for some reason want to make it like a waterproof type sheath just uh, some garbage bag material. Alright, to make a long story short, you want to take your blade guard and, uh, you know, you want to insert the knife. Hold on. And then you want to cut it. You want to cut it to fit the knife. If you don't, somebody asked, like, what if you don't have an bl extra blade guard? Dude, you don't need a blade guard. You can use any material, like, Find a box you have laying around, like I wouldn't use this nice Benchmade box, but any knife box, you can probably just cut this up and it's like, it's the same material, alright? You're going to cut this, you're going to cut the guard around the blade, alright? And then you're going to take the little stapler thing and form it a little better, alright? And just to save time, let me show you what I'm talking about, you know, you're basically going to make something like this all right okay see how that freaking fits there fits it pretty well so that's just going to be the basis of your cheap ass sheath all right take some stretchy tape doesn't matter what color because it's going to be on the inside stretchy tape cut some of it wrap it very tightly around that's going to hold it in dude okay so wrap it very tightly around a few times and then uh, take your tape you want on the outside, which is just athletic tape, and cover it up. Alright.
All right, so here it is. I continued to wrap it in athletic tape, and underneath that is the elastic tape. The elastic tape is what's holding it in, okay? This is very secure. I would, you can wear this around your neck. It's not going to fall out. All right, and uh, you know, that's how it comes out. So, you know, there's the ghetto sheath. Hold on. All right, now, if for some reason you wanted to wear this on your belt, Take the money clip and you know attach it, attach it like that, just like that. Wear it on your belt, or if you want to, you know, horizontal carry, attach that. But I figured I'd make this neck knife, and uh, I think it's pretty, you know, evident how to attach that. Just firmly, you know, put enough tape, and you know, this could be. I could use this as a neck knife right now. You know, take your paracord. All right, and there's your uh, there's your Boker Subcom neck knife sheath right there. All right, and you know I know it's not as cool as getting a custom sheath. It's just they they didn't send me a sheath. You know it's supposed to come with Kydex, and they didn't send me one. And I'm not going to send it back. I mean it's a twenty dollar knife. You know send it back, and then they send it's like you know I'll just you know, I'll just make this. All right, YouTube, so there you go. Homemade sheath for the neck knife. Hope you enjoyed the mini review and the little mini project there. Stay tuned for many more videos, and I am out of here, dudes. Peace out.